Hi, I'm Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial we will test the affiliate plugin using the WP eStore and a live PayPal account. Although for this tutorial I will be using the WP eStore, the affiliate plugin can be integrated with many other e-commerce solutions. First ensure that you have downloaded the WP affiliate plugin and an e-commerce solution. Using the WP eStore, I have created a test product for the purpose of this demonstration, as shown on my screen. And here is my test product, and I'll just show you what that looks like when I put it on a page. So it'll just look something like this. I've put an image and I've customised my button URL. If you need any assistance creating eStore products, you'll first need to view the WP eStore product tutorials. Next, I configured a banner for my affiliates to use on their site to advertise my products. So that's in the WP Affiliate, and then it's just Manage Ads. And here's my ad that will show up on their site. To advertise this product on their site, my affiliate will need to log into their portal, which I have already done. They'll need to go to their ads, where they'll be able to copy the affiliate link. Once the affiliate has copied the link for the ad, they will then be able to paste this on a popular page on their website. The affiliate plugin works well with payment solutions such as the eStore plugin as it allows the owner of the site to gain more traffic and sales of products but also gives incentive to affiliates to refer their own traffic. The owner of the site who is referring customers who proceed to check out with a successful sale will be rewarded with a percentage of the profit from the owner of the sale site. Now that I've shown you how to create the affiliate link, I will now show you how the affiliate website works. So I've just created a blog for the purpose of this. And using the unique affiliate link, someone such as a blogger or other website owner is able to push sales for your website in return for a commission such as 25%. Please watch our separate tutorials on setting up an affiliate user and default landing page if you're unsure on either of these configuration steps. Now that you understand the steps in creating an affiliate link, I will now show you how an affiliate website works. Using the unique affiliate link, someone such as a blogger or other website owner is able to push sales for your website in return for a commission such as 25%. For this example, I have used a blogging style website where the blogger has used my affiliate link here as an ad where someone can come in and click to purchase a backpack. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have had to put the affiliate on one of my pages. I'll now show you how a customer would come in and purchase the backpack and how the affiliate would get their commission. So if I was a customer and I came in and I clicked on this backpack, it would straight, take me straight to the product. As you can see, my product is listed here and the add to cart button below. I will now complete a successful sale so you can view the commission that an affiliate would earn. So I'll go add to cart. Now that that's showed up in my shopping cart on the sidebar, I'll check out with PayPal. So I'm gonna continue, pay now, and that's completed. Because I completed a successful sale using the affiliate link, my affiliate will now earn a commission of the sale. We'll now go back to the seller of the product's website to view the statistics. So if I go back here, I go to WP Affiliate. I'll show you the click throughs first. So this one here will show how the customer came and clicked. Whereas the WP Affiliate sales data will show how many successful sales came through. Here the website owner is able to view the total sale amount and the commission earned by their affiliate. If the website owner has multiple affiliates, they're able to view the affiliate ID that they need to pay the commission to, the date the sale came through, the time, the buyer's email, and the transaction ID. So now you can see how the seller of the product can view their affiliate's commission. I'll now show you how an affiliate will view their commission. 
We'll need to just head up to the affiliates portal. I've already logged into mine and go sales. It is here that the affiliate can view how much they have earned in commission. So my affiliate has earned 0.03 USD. Within their portal, they are also able to see their payment history. This is payments made by the owner of the website to them. So they're owed 0.03 USD, which has not been paid as of yet. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope after watching this, you have a better understanding of how the affiliate plugin works. I've covered how to advertise an affiliate link, a customer transaction from an affiliate link using PayPal, verification within the eStore after a successful transaction. We have viewed the affiliate commission earned from both the view of the website owner's affiliate settings and from the affiliate login portal of the blogger. If you still have any unanswered questions, you are welcome to head over to the forum or simply email us.